Uh, what advice do you have for someone pursuing a poly relationship? <laughs> um, go for it. It's complicated. Poly means many, many loves. Polyamory, many loves. Uh, it means you know triads, quadrangles, pentagon relationships. Um, you know, two or three, or, or you know, three or four people who are a unit. And I, I have friends who are poly. I have friends with more than one partner. Um, straight people uh, to to a person. Uh, I have no poly gay buds. I've been to poly weddings, a couple. I've never been to a poly third anniversary party. <laughs> I know that's an asshole thing to say, um, <laughs> but it happens to be true. A relationship with just one other person is this long, slow process of carving grooves into each other, figuring out what the price of admission is, figuring out what you need to seed and what ground you need to stand, and really kind of molding yourselves to each other. And that process is complicated and exciting and terrifying at times and exhilarating at times. And it's insane. There's so many moving parts because just one other person has so many facets and you have so many facets that binding yourselves to each other with any sort of permanence is hard and complicated and can go terribly, terribly awry uh, with ease. It can just spin out of control. It's a very complicated machine or relationship. Trying to do that with three people, trying to do that with four people, I don't see, uh, you know, and it could be my own shortcomings, my own limitations. I don't see how you do that successfully. And I haven't seen it done successfully often. Um, but good fucking luck to you. <laughs>